Evening. Welcome to the 530 Boot Camp with me, Ali Head Cooley. Uh, we're back for another week. The time and days are going by quick. The workouts are coming up quick. So we welcome back. I thank you guys for chiming in. So for today's workout, all you will need is a set of dumbbells and a mat. All right. Outside of that, the warm up, we're going to do 20 seconds of high knees, 20 second jumping jacks. We're going to do one and done with that. Then I'll explain what we're going to come up with. The first round will consist of three exercises. But after the warm up, I'll get to more on part of what the workout entails. All right. So does anybody have their mat rolled out? You got your dumbbells rolled out. You got your water, your sweat towel. We chimed in. We good to go. Ready to put some work in? All right, let's get it. Let's start with the warm up. So let's start off up top. 20 seconds on the jumping jacks. Make sure you get your arms all the way up. You're going to need your arms at some point today. You're going to need the arms. You're going to need your shoulders warmed up. So make sure it starts in the warm up. Don't cheat yourself just yet. Get the momentum going in the warm up. And time. Take it to the high knees. Once again, get your arms up, get your knees rolling. Again, this is the warm up. It starts in the warm up. 10 seconds. That's time. So, just one quick warm up. That's all we was doing. So now we got the blood flowing a little bit. I'm gonna go over the first round. The first round will consist of three exercises for 25 seconds on the clock. We're just gonna run through each exercise one lap. Then we're gonna take a break. Then we get ready for lap two, whatever that consists of. All right? All right. So, first exercise. You're gonna be down in a push up position. I'll give you the front view, this is just a demonstration. You're going to take your right hand, drive your left knee up, meet it in the middle. Left hand meets the right leg, meets it in the middle. So once again, I'll give you a lateral view of that. So, right hand meets the left knee, I drop back down, left hand meets the right knee in the middle. All right? So, that's the first exercise. Second exercise, grab your weight. We're going to an extended Squat hold, that's the front view. Here's the lateral view. Third exercise, pick up both weights. We got squats to the press, all right? So, that's the first round, three exercises. 25 seconds on the clock. We're gonna be one and done with that. We're just gonna roll through with that. I'll say Tom, grab a quick drink. Then we move on to the second circuit. Some circuits, May consist of one lap, some may consist of two laps. So keep that in mind as well. I'll keep you guys updated along the way. So does everybody have their weight? Sweat tiles ready to roll? We understand the first set of the format, we good to go? All right, here we go. Round one, exercise one. So again, put yourself down in push-up position. We're starting off. Right hand to left knee, take your time. Work on balance, work on form, work on technique. Keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your core tight. So keep the core tight when you drive the knees to meet across with the hands. Keep breathing, this is round one, 15 seconds to go. So instead of rushing through this one, go ahead and control pace instead of Compromise your form and your technique. Five, four, three, two, one. Find your weight. Let's take it right to the squat hold. So keep in mind, extend those arms out straight. Sit down nice and low in the squat. Don't cheat it. Keep your shoulders relaxed. So that's the front view. We keep your lateral view. 15 seconds until we get ready for the squat press coming up. So keep that in mind. Hold those arms out straight. Don't cheat it. Don't shortchange it. Three, 
two, one. Find the other weight. Let's double up. Go right to your squat press. This is quick. Remember, this is one and done. It's only 35 seconds. I'm sorry, 25 seconds. Breathe at the top. Get the power from your legs, explode up. 15 seconds. I extended the clock on this one a little bit. Hang with me, hang with me. Keep rolling. Time, drop your weights. Grab a quick drink. So, round one is already done. Like I said, some laps will consist of running one lap all the way through. So far, is everybody good to go? Before we move on to round two? All right, I'll explain the exercises. Let's work. So, for lap two, grab your dumbbells. We're starting off with power cleans. With the power cleans, put both feet close together. So, when I hop out, I want my wrists to flip up. My palms should be facing towards the ceiling. So, I start close together. As I squat, I get underneath the weight, my palms are faced up, bring it back into the start. Once again, the dumbbell power cleans. So make sure you're sitting down into that squat. So that's the first exercise. Second exercise, we got dumbbell, front bend over rows. We've done these before. All right, make sure you really get a squeeze in the back. Third exercise, coming up. Good old body weight dips. Take them down to the floor. And again, your glutes touch down, extend all the way up. So make sure the glutes do touch down to the ground. Three exercises, 35 seconds. This is two laps, non-stop. Then you grab a quick drink. We good to go? All right. Let's take it to the top. Grab the weights. Feet start together, let's get it. So make sure this is quick, this is explosive, it's powerful. Get underneath the weight, sit down underneath, slow back up. Sit down low enough to get the power from the legs. Don't just hop going through the motions with it. Sit underneath that weight, five seconds. One more. Time. All right. We got the dumbbell bent over rows coming up next. Knees together, feet together. Straight back. Let's get it. 35 seconds. Again, keep your face, keep your shoulders, keep your neck relaxed. Don't just go through the motions with it. Get something out of it. 15 seconds. Before we get ready for our body weight dips, coming up next. Remember, this is two laps, non stop. One more. There you go, get that squeeze. Take it down to the floor, body weight dips. You got the option if you want your legs to be straight or you have your knees bent. Make sure your glutes touch down to the ground. Here we go. Drive up. And I want this to be a nice, quick burnout. Don't take your time with this. 35 seconds on the clock. It goes by quick. So again, tap down, explode up. All on your triceps. Breathe at the top. There you go. Keep repping. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back to the top. I did say we're repeating this round again. Take me back to the dumbbell power cleans. Here we go, both feet together. Let's get it. It's all about maintaining, but you gotta be consistent. Whatever workout you're doing, it has to be some type of consistency in that momentum.
Under the 15 second mark. Grind it out. One more. All right, guys, how are you feeling? Good to go? All right, stick it to the second movement. Good old back flies. Get a nice squeeze. Take your time. Quality lifts. Don't just go through the motions. Get something out of that movement. Fifteen seconds. So remember, this is the last round before we move on. Breathe, breathe through your breath. You hear me breathing? Breathe. Let the oxygen out. Time. Take it down to the ground. We got those body weight dips. Let's work. So stand patrol. Make sure your shoulders stay relaxed. Don't squeeze. Don't pinch your neck. Don't pinch your shoulders. Add enough. This is your body weight. Come on, finish off. Under the 15 second mark and counting. The clock waits for no one. Don't cheat it. Easy money, easy reps. Time. All right, that was three exercises, 35 seconds, two laps, non-stop. Grab a quick drink, stretch out if need be. On the next circuit coming up, we got three exercises for one lap, which will be 25 seconds. But again, grab a quick drink, stretch out. You deserve it, you earned it. Before we move on. All right, so I'm just going to change my mat up, switch it to this direction, so that way you guys still see me in the frame. All right, so coming up next, we have what we call a one, two, three mountain climber. I'm going to roll to the right and roll to the left. So I'm going to demonstrate. So in the mountain climbing position, I'm counting out loud. I'm going to go. One, two, three. I want you to roll to the right. Get back up. One, two, three. Roll to the left. And get yourself right back into position. So we're doing a mountain climber. One, two, three count. Roll to the right. One, two, three count. Roll to the left. That's the first exercise. Second exercise, we got up downs to a lateral walk. So the up downs, I'm going to start in the middle of my mat. Three, two, one, come out. Give me a lateral walk to the end of the mat. Hop up to one, two, three, come down. Walk it to the left side of the mat, all right? So those are the first two exercises. We got one more to go. Oh yes, good old push-ups. With the push-ups. We're going from the ground all the way down. When you push up, extend your right leg. Push back up, alternate to the left leg. Three exercises, one lap, 25 seconds a piece. Are we good to go? We all on the same page? All right, let's take it up top. We got the one, two, three mountain climbers. Roll to the right, let's get it. Enough talking. Let's take it down, here we go. One, two, three, roll to the right. Get back up, one, two, three. Roll to the left, remember this is one and done. Two, three. One, two, three. Protect your knees. One, two, three. Bring your elbows down. Protect your knees. One, two, three. Give me one more. One, two, three. All right, take it up. We got the up downs coming up for three, two, one. We drop down to a lateral. Well, push up walk. Here we go. One, two, three. Drop it down. Walk it to the end to the right. One, two, three. Walk it to the left. All the way towards the end. One, two, three. Walk it to the right. Now 
Hang tough. Almost there. One more. Even though the clock is run out. One more. Time. All right, let's take it down for the push-ups. Everything is on the ground. When you push up, start off with the right leg extended. Drop down, left leg is next. Here we go. So everything touches the ground. You're alternating each leg. Protect your knees. Control your body weight. Going back down to the mat. Nice tight core. Let's work. And time. All right, grab a quick drink. We hanging in there, how we feeling? Everybody good to go so far? All right, so make sure you grab something to drink. Stretch out, mentally get ready for the next round coming up. Hang tough. All right, guys, coming up. I did say each round, some may consist of a lap straight through, some will consist of two laps. So now we're back on three exercises. This would be two laps. So let me walk through the exercises coming up on the next lap. So coming up, ooh, this should be fun. If you got two different sets of weights, go with your lighter weights or Go whatever you're working with that's a little bit lighter. You can do this without weight. So, we up top. To the lateral position, to the shoulders. We got one, two, three. Drop down, bring to the front. One, two, three. And back down to the lateral. All right? So, we got a one, two, three count on the laterals. One, two, three count in the front. Repeat that sequence. Exercise number two, we're gonna do a half burpee down to four shoulder taps. So this is gonna look like. I'm down, I'm ready. I'll start off four shoulder taps. One, two, three, four. Kick your feet out, outside the hands, kick back. One, two, three, and four, all right? That's the second exercise. Third exercise, we're down on the mat. Place your hands underneath your lower part of your back. You got six inches. Legs is out straight. Bring both legs up. Heels, toes pointed back towards you. Lower the heels down slow, six inches from the ground. Go. Nope. So, that's the next round. Three exercises, 35 seconds on the clock, two laps, non-stop. All right, so make sure you got your weight situated. Let's work. Remember, this is two laps. Here we go. Starting off in lateral. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you need to change your stance up, one, two, three. Along the way, one, two, three. Feel free. One, two, three. One, two, three. Under the 10 second mark. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time. Drop it down. We're in that half burpee formation. Here we go. Start off with the four shoulder taps. One, two, three, four. Jump the feet in. Kick back out. One, two, three, four. Make sure you keep your hands and wrists nice and straight. Support your upper body. Four, not like bodyweight exercises. Come on. 10 second mark. Hang with me. Last one. Take it down for the six inches. If need be, place your hands behind, low part of your back. Legs out straight. Bring them up. And stay in control. Bring them down. Heels are six inches from the ground. Come right back up. Focus on keeping your lower back 
glued against the mat. Don't let no space come between you and the mat. Nice tight core. Keep those legs extended out straight under the 15 second mark. Then we take it right back up to the top. We're repeating this round once again. You gotta love it. Mind over matter. And time. Here we go. Take it back up top. Find your weight. Start off the lateral. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Find that momentum. One, two, three. A quick burn. One, two, three. Come on. Last one. One, two, three. Take it down to a half burpee. Start off with the four shoulder taps first. One, two, three, four. Keep your hips nice and straight. Don't let the hips rotate. Two, three, four. Let's work. Put the work in now, not later. No regrets. Hang with me, hang with me. One, two, three, four, one more. One, two, three, four. Take it down to the six inches. Here we go. Finish strong, don't finish wrong. Hands underneath the lower back if need be. Take it up. Bring it down nice and slow. And control. Don't let your back nor your shoulders leave off the ground when you drop your heels down towards the floor. Breathe out. After this round, we're gonna have a quick drink, you get some time off the clock. You're gonna stretch out. 10 seconds. Stay in control of both legs. Breathe down as you lower it down. Time. All right, guys. Grab a quick drink. Stretch out. I'm gonna give you a little time off the clock, but not too much time. Wanna keep this momentum going. Wanna keep stacking this momentum moving forward. Hang tough. It's all mental. Hang tough. So, that was a two lap round. Back to back. We're coming up now on another three exercises for one lap, 25 seconds apiece. All right? Hang tough. So, coming up, we're gonna go to dumbbell, L-shaped bicep curls. So, as a demonstration, my right arm is the one holding the contraction of the weight. As a demonstration, we got 25 seconds on the left, switch, 25 seconds on the right. The second exercise, right away, take it up top, we got inner, Bicep curls. We're working part of the inner part of the biceps now. Going towards the shoulders. 25 seconds. Last but not least, we're taking it down to the ground. Bring your weights. It's almost like going a glute bridge. Bring your hips and your glutes off the ground. Bring the chest up. We got 25 seconds. Elbows hitting the deck, going all the way up to a press. So, three exercises, 25 seconds on the clock. This round is one and done. We won't see this twice. All right, let's get it. Find your weight, take it up top. So, right arm is holding, left arm is repping. 25 seconds worth of work. Make sure that arm stays in the L shape. Don't drop down too low. Don't take away from that bicep. Keep repping, come on. And switch. Bring your left arm down. Now the right arm is doing the work. But again, L shape. Don't cheat it. Do not cheat yourself through the reps today. Come on. Time, take it up top. Slight bend the knees, arms out. 
Curl in towards the ears and the shoulders. Try to focus on not letting one arm outwork the opposite arm. Make sure they both draw in at the same time and they both separate at the same time. Keep your face relaxed, keep your shoulders relaxed. We're just doing different formations of the bicep. I'm also working the inner curls of it. Come on. I know I said 25 seconds. I like to add more time on. And time. Here we go. Take it down. Your weights come with you. Give me that glute bridge. Heels off the ground. Glutes off the ground. Let's rep. It's quick. Don't take your time. Tap down the elbows and explode right back up towards the center. Remember, it's a burnout, so go quick. Don't take your time. I add a little more time to the clock. A little bit more time will not hurt you. Keep repping. If I'm not stopping, you're not stopping. Come on. Keep repping. Give me 10 more seconds. Give me 10 more seconds. Three, two, last one. And one. All right. Grab a quick drink. We're getting you ready for the next round, which consists of three exercises of two laps, 35 seconds on the clock. So hang tough. So this next one, it will be a little bit movement. So make sure you got some space around you. Make sure your weights are not near your feet. Just kind of double check your area a little bit to make sure you got the space. So, coming up, we got what we call a dumbbell renegade row. Then we're gonna roll over and do four punches towards the feet. So I'll demonstrate. So, both weights, down to the renegade row. Let's do one, one. Roll over to your back, opposite hand. One, two, three, four. So, that's what the first exercise looks like in this round coming up. So again, one and one on the renegade rolls. Flip over, opposite hand, opposite foot punches to the feet for four reps. Moving on. Ooh, the good old triceps, I gave it to you previously. The only difference, I want you to work on balance and stability. Bring your body weight up, opposite hand. Right hand reaches to the left foot. So on and so on. Find your balance, find that rotation. So that's the second exercise. Third exercise. Here's the fun part. Double check your space right now to make sure you got enough space. I'm gonna use my mat and do a push up, walk all around the mat. So we go on to the right. So for instance, this is this demonstration. Push it up, walk over, push it up. Walk over. So I'm walking around the world. I want to push up ladder walk and get back to right to where I started. All right. So those are three exercises coming up. How we feeling? Ain't tough. So let's take it up top to the first exercise. Grab your weight and let's work. One is one. Roll it over. Give me four. One, two, three, four. Flip it back over. Get your body set. One, one. Roll it back over. Another four. That sequence never changes. Two, three, four. Now, this is a long way. One, one. Roll it back over. One, two, three, four. Give me one more lap. One more lap. One more. One more. One, one, roll it over. One, two, three, four. All right, get rid of the weight. Make yourself the body weight. Hands and wrists nice and straight. Bring yourself up. Right hand to the left foot. Find that balance. Focus on keeping the strength in your core, your upper body. Don't let the lower body sag or dip too low in this movement. Breathe at the top. 15 seconds. And counting. Come on. That's why I gave you the dips in the previous rounds. 
get the upper body ready. Be able to hold, sustain. Time. All right, we know what this one is. We got those good old lateral push up. Starting at the end of your mat. Make it all the way around. Let's get it. Breathe. Don't cheat it. Just because you got your video off, can't nobody see you. Put the work in. Push up walks around the world. And time. All right. We got to take it back to the top. We know we got. Find your weight. Take a nice deep breath. One is one. 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 Roll it over. One, two, three, four. Take it back to the top. One, one. Put it back over. One, two, three, four. Put it back to the front. Keep the hips nice and straight. One, two, three, four. One more lap, one more. Last one here. One. One. Flip it over. One. Two. Three. Four. Get rid of the weight. Hang tough. We're moving on. We're back to that tricep hold. Take it up. Let's get it. Hand to the left, left to the right. We have officially passed that six o'clock mark. You're almost at the finish line, but you owe it to yourself, whatever's coming ahead, to mentally break down the barriers. You can do the work, 15 seconds. Come on. Don't give in, don't quit, don't second guess yourself. Time. All right, we know what's up next. The good old infamous push up walk. Go to the left. We already went to the right. Take it to the left. Let's get it. It's going to hurt regardless. Might as well put the work in. Don't cheat it. Bring it home. Just like that clock move on the clock. The hands on the clock move. That's all this is. Here it is. Two laps. Three exercises. 35 seconds on the clock. Stay hydrated. Stretch out. Hang tough. You're almost at the finish line. Talk to me. How are we feeling? Everybody still good to go? Still alive, still breathing, still mentally into the game. Hang tough. Stay hydrated. That was a good burn on your arms and your shoulders. Hang tough. All right, coming up next. We're going to switch the format up a little bit. Bring your weights over to the mat. We're going to take it down to the core. So, with the core, all I need is one weight. I view the front view first as a demonstration. Come up. Switch it to the opposite hand. Then get me straight up to the middle and bring it back down. So once again, up, under, up, under. Go back down, sit back up, reach the hands towards the feet. We good to go? All right, let's get it. 35 seconds on the clock. 
Here we go. Pass underneath the left leg. Switch to the left hand and the right leg. Bring straight down the middle. Back up top. So find your rhythm. Once you've got your rhythm and your pace, now you're going through the momentum without any hiccups. It's a fluent pace. A fluent move, a fluent motion. Ten seconds. Hang tough. Give me one more, one more. I know time is run out. Give me another one. It won't hurt you, it's gonna help me. Time. All right. Grab the other weight. Bring them down both by the mat. Position yourself up top on your knees, nice and tall. So, here's the revised version for this move. If I need to put my hands down, just step up and step down. That's the revised move, all right? Put your hands down. If you want, you can alternate, step up on the left leg and stand tall, all right? So, with this, both weights in the hand. I want you to jump off your knees onto your feet. So for instance, if I need to, I can use one hand, one knee off the ground and push straight up. So here's what we're looking for. Find your momentum, rock up, give me the press, come back down. So I gave you the regression of the move. Here's the regular move. All right, here we go. 35 seconds on the clock. So again, I rock back. Find momentum, hop up, drop back down. Hop up, press up, back down to the knees. Once again, this is an explosive move. It takes a lot out of you. Drive up, rock it up. Or you can start taking a single leg. You can alternate it off. It's a power explosion move. Get up off that ground. Don't cheat it. Time. All right, take it back to the top. Back to the core, same movement. This is three laps. Hang tough. Down the middle. You're almost at that finish line. Bring it home. Without me telling you, this was your finishing round. Especially with that second move coming up. It takes a lot out of you. Give me one more after this. One more lap. Straight down the middle. All right. Get both weights ready. Or if I don't want to use the weight, just use your body weight. Play it safe, listen to your body. All right, here we go. Both weights in, explode up. You can either go double leg, you can go single leg. If you go single leg, make sure you alternate off. Don't forget which leg you previously jumped up on. 15 seconds, come on. Get up off that ground, get that weight up. Jump up at your highest point. Time. Drop one weight off. This is it, last call. Take it back down to the core. Hang it up. Straight down the middle. Mental in the game, it's all mental. When you're tired, muscles start to burn. Tell you what it meant to me. Everybody's doing the same thing across the board. Ain't tough. You gotta love it. Can't nobody do it for you. Last lap. Take it up to the middle. 
All right, here we go. Last call. Leave it all out. No regrets. Leave nothing on the table. Wait up. Let's work. Come on. How quick can you get down to the ground? Whatever you got left to offer, whatever you got left to give. Come on. Whether I got weight in my hands or I'm going to use my body weight, it don't matter. Finish. Finish. That's what you got to ask out of yourself. Cross the finish line. Come on. Time. There it is. There it is. So, real quick workout today. It was one of the ones to get right to the point. Whether you use your body weight, whether you utilize using weight, your body weight doesn't matter. As long as you show up each and every week, continue to put the work in. Um, don't sign off just yet. I want to take you guys through some stretches in the cool down. So if you can hang with me for a little bit, let's go ahead and cool it down and stretch it out. All right, stay hydrated. First stretch, and stay on top of our feet. Continue to bring your heart rate down. Breathe slowly in and out. Give me a slight bend in the knees, arms wide. Opposite hand, opposite foot stretches. Wide wingspan stretch. Make sure, stand up all the way in the middle. Breathe. Keep it soft in your knees. You did dips. You just got to finish on explosive move with the weight to a shoulder press. You've done push-ups around the world. 10 seconds. Make sure. Don't cheat the warm-up. Most importantly, don't cheat the workout. The damn sure. Don't cheat the stretches in the cool down. Time, let's take it down on the ground. As I have a seat, right leg is out straight, overlap, hug and squeeze the left leg. Make sure your posture, sit up tall, nice tight core, hold that stretch. You earn it, you deserve it, you beat your body up throughout the week, we gotta learn to take care of it to get us ready for the next workout. And time, I want you to collapse your left leg over top of your right, Slowly rotate the ankles. We're going to go outward rotating the ankles. And reverse the sequence on the ankle rotation. Make sure your upper body is still staying relaxed up top. And switch. Left leg becomes a straight leg. Right leg, hug and squeeze, overlap. Sit up tall. Get a good stretch. Don't rush your stretches. You should be able to feel that. Almost lost out of the hips, a little bit of glutes, a little bit of hamstrings. And collapse the right leg down, sit up tall. Start to slowly rotate the ankles and the outward rotation. And again, the stretching and the cool down is just as important as a warm up. You gotta let your body know we're in shutdown mode. And switch, go the opposite direction on that rotation. Continue to breathe, continue to bring the heart rate in. And time. So let's take it straight down the middle. So my palms are flat on the ground. I want you to shift your elbows inside the kneecaps. Shift your weight on your toes, hold that stretch. We're gonna hold five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I want you to stand up. Shake the legs out. Give me a slight bend in both knees. Arms up straight. You're gonna bring your hands all the way down to meet the front part of your toes. Keep a slight bend in your knees. I want you to hold that for one second. Slowly elevate up. Keep the arms wide. Give me that lean, that slight lean in the lower back as I take my eyes and look above me. And then drop right back down. Hands down, elbows locked inside the kneecaps. I shift my weight on the toes. Let's hold for five. Five, four, 
Three, two, one. Take it up top. Shake the legs out. Last stretch right here. Give me the soft bend in your knees, arms wide. Take your time. Slowly come all the way down to where your hands are in the front part of your feet. Hold for one second. Slowly come up, keep the arms wide. And again, that slight knee in that lower back. And that's it. So again, I thank you guys for timing in today, showing up, putting the work in, staying with it each and every day, each and every week. Um, continue to check the calendar. We're gonna have some more fun challenges coming up. So make sure you keep your eyes and your ears open for that. And again, we're just trying to continue to give you guys as many different variations, varieties from different instructors and, you know, everybody play their part. So again, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for showing up.